Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus, and today we're looking at the fifth beatitude. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. It's the first of that second grouping of beatitudes, which I'm calling the blessings for the God breathers, those who breathe out God's blessing into the world, those who engage in the world in a way that builds his kingdom and honours him and glorifies him. And today's a great example of being godlike. How can you be more godlike than by showing mercy? when we consider that actually we've received such extravagant mercy and grace in and through Jesus Christ on the cross and in his resurrection for the forgiveness of our sins, how can we be withholding of mercy to others? It doesn't, doesn't make any sense. But we do, don't we? It's very godly, godlike to show mercy. And if we show mercy, we will receive mercy. Now you could say, oh, does that mean that God's withholding his mercy and forgiveness until we've shown that to others? Well, no, I don't think it means that. Later in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 18, Jesus tells a parable that unpacks this all, the story or the parable of the unforgiving servant, in which the, Jesus tells a story of a king who lets off his servant an absolutely astronomical debt. He just frees him of it. He writes it off, and that servant walks free. But then the servant goes to another servant who owes him a few bob and has him beaten and thrown into jail until he pays him. Now the king hears of this and he has that first servant dragged into his presence and, and he says, why did you not forgive? Why did you not show mercy? Why did you not write off the debt when I did that for you? And he has him thrown into prison until he can pay the last penny. Now that parable tells us actually the mercy, the grace of God is abundant and it is a, it is a given. It is the context by which we're able to show mercy in the first place. It's, it's there, but if we don't allow that mercy and grace to change us, to permeate us, and, and for us to become godlike, to become like the giver, then actually we can forfeit that mercy and grace. It's a recurrent theme in and throughout Jesus' teaching. Forgive and you will be forgiven. Show mercy and you will be shown mercy. Give and it will be given to you. Don't judge and you won't be judged, for with the measure that you use, it will be measured to you. If you use a quarter cup 60 milliliter measure with your mercy, that's a bit miserly and you can only expect to retain that much of God's mercy when he pours it out into your life. But if, on the other hand, you use something a little bit more like this, that you're extravagant and uh, over the top and abundant in your mercy and your grace and your love and forgiveness, then you will retain or you will be able to receive that much grace and forgiveness that, God, that is being poured out from God. So the question today really is, this week, is are we a miserly in our mer mercy giving or are we magnificent in our mercy giving? Which are we? How can we be more of this and less of this?